Hey, welcome to Set It. I've had a lot of coffee today, so I'm ready to bullshit with my friends here. Yeah. In case you didn't know, all the things I love are behind me. Tiger <laughs> picture, tequila, video games, board games. I'm ready to go. I'm way to too hyped put, up. Put Mikey up there, but he kept falling. Yeah. <laughs> That's sad. This is this is airing after the election, right? Yeah. All right. So hello, fellow wastelander. <laughs> Don't forget to bring your bottle caps and hold on to your basic humanity. Perfect. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. So our first topic that we got from Google Overk or Overk. I like overk. I yeah. like overk too. It's that's, like that's my new waist. Were you name. going for overt, but it was taken? <laughs> overk is my new waist. We may name. never know. Overk. Overk. That's okay. A good one. So it is. If what food or drink can you almost not comprehend other people actually like? Let's take a second and appreciate the phrasing of this. Of what food? Yes. What a pretentious knob. What's funny? <laughs> like, like, seriously. When yeah. I was writing this down, because I write things down like an old person. Um, I, I started with what, and then I reread it, and I was like, no, I have to put an of. Yeah. Of what? Of what can you not possibly comprehend? It's, like, just such a, like, a loaded, like, yeah, like pretentious, douchey question. I, I love like, it. I'm or sure like we're I'm really going to deliver pretentious, douchey answers. I, I'm, yeah. I feel like Google over K is a nice person, but yeah. Yeah. No, you're he's right, he's pretentious. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Let's start with so Thomas, because I know he's a picky eater, <laughs> yeah. so he's going to yeah. have some real good shit to say. Lay on me, T-Dog. Initially, my first thought was, um mushrooms just because yes. they're like a lower form of life they're just like i said now it's time for he only likes um, to eat the highest forms of life yes the human. most dangerous <laughs> game no like they're, they're a whole different kingdom of life than like yeah. you know what we usually eat plants or animals um and i guess bacteria and cheese is lower even than that but so you're cheese just like is awesome wrong um i was gonna i think pickled pig's feet or snouts are the worst because you know what they remind me of um you like know. the beginning of the first season of american horror story oh, yeah. and like the intro to that oh, and there's like all the bottles yeah. with body parts and stuff mm-hmm. and it's like a mad that's what it reminds me of in the store i'm yeah. like is this legal like is that formaldehyde that they're like soaking in <laughs> i feel like i'm like, like in, me out. In, like, I, a, a backwater voodoo shop like <laughs> yeah. i need to just speak on behalf like the defending the mushrooms though yeah do you know what's fucking amazing about mushrooms is you call it mushroom or truffle hunting isn't it the most adorable thing and you have like little, you go truffle hunting we always say that mikey's a little truffle hunter because yeah. he just puts his nose to the ground and goes, <laughs> exactly like, there's nothing to be fair that's just how mikey breathes yeah. it's adorable it is very yeah. cute it's very cute it's a very hobbit-esque activity exactly that's yes. what i think of too is i think of like little hobbits like we're gonna go mushroom hunting in the shire yeah. it's but they also smoke a lot in of case pipe, you didn't so. know like in missouri mushroom hunting is a thing yeah, it like is. Huge when thing. I first moved here, yeah. I was like, what, you going to go get your rifle? Like, <laughs> I didn't get it. Yeah. Have you ever been mushroom hunting? No. no. I have. There was one time that somebody approached me at a store, though, and they uh, asked me, I don't know, or maybe it was at work, and somebody was like, hey, do you have any of these mushrooms going in the yard? They're worth like $50. I'm trying to find them. Yeah, the morels. And I'm like, yeah. yeah. yeah those are and I was like, even terrible, if I, I didn't, assume. you just told me they're worth $50 up front. I'm not going to tell you now. <laughs> like, yeah, seriously, what an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Mushroom so what hunting. What do you got? Oh, uh, okay. So... I, okay, I understand tomatoes in a lot of its various forms. I understand pasta sauce. I understand, like, actual tomatoes, like, in salads and shit and sandwiches. I understand all of those things. But tomato juice. Tomato juice makes no fucking sense to me. Like, why? You make no fucking sense. <laughs> I know. You love tomato juice. Too. I love tomato juice, too. I, okay, it, to me, it's like They're really you're just drinking out. bisque. Yeah. Like, you could take, like... Just soup and just pour it into a glass and like just drink that and it's like that's tomato juice. People to me. do that, but why? Like why do that? Because it's yummy. It's delicious. Portable soup. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, soup in a can. Well, and it's like I don't know. It <laughs> has the potential to be a drink. Yeah. Bloody it's Mary. Too, it's too yeah. hearty. It's too thick. And it's a too Bloody Mary is like keep a work of art. All those descriptions in mind. Just or not hearty, savory. Nope. Savory hang on to is those. the word I'm nope. looking for. I want you to hang on to all uh, those. I would agree with you though. It does kind of gross me out. It's, I just don't yeah. like tomatoes other no. than like ketchup and pizza sauce and stuff. See, though. Normally, salsa. I don't either. But like you're salsa. at the pre-K yeah, level salsa. of tomatoes. Like, like I salsa, like pizza sauce, ketchup. I, I agree mm-hmm. with Thomas. That's like my thoughts on tomatoes as well. But I like tomato juice, especially with the spicy, like even just like mm, the hot yeah. spicy V8 mm-hmm. or Bloody Marys. I like Bloody Marys yeah. too. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just not, hot spicy not V8. My thing. I used to take a small, one of those small cans to school. Uh, in high school and drink one of those for lunch. Mm. Huh. Like, that was my entire lunch, mm. but it was my drink for yeah. lunch. Yeah. You know what's weird? I didn't like tomato juice and I found it gross until I drank a Bloody Mary. And sense. then I was like, this is great. <laughs> yeah. It's fun. the vodka. Yeah. <laughs> That's what makes it. Um, okay, so I have a few. Yeah. Okay. And my first one is 
like sardines or capers or any type of canned whole fish yeah. that people just eat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just open a can and eat it. Like, what the hell? Yeah. That is disgusting. Yeah. I no. don't agree with I... that. Any sort of meat preserved in a, can, in a can or jar. I'm just like, no. Yeah. It's a little weird. I mean, like, I use canned chicken sometimes and like, recipes. Yeah. I still don't love it because when I open it, it's, like, cat food. But I'm like, yeah. it'll be fine later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel. Yeah. The worst, I've used canned chicken for recipes, too. Like, uh, buffalo wing. I've yeah. used it buffalo for that before. Yeah, yeah. But I hate when it's, like, a little fatty and you open it up and yeah, you're like, I don't want to like use this. Yeah. 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 It's, it's not appealing. Um, okay, so my other one is something that we all know and can all relate to. Because mm-hmm. yep. we've seen it. You guys know? You know, Maybe. take a guess? Maybe. I have a guess. Guess it. You want me to guess it? Yeah. Chicken paws. Chicken paws. Chicken paws. <laughs> so our local um, big box store has recently begun selling chicken paws prepackaged. Like, you know how you'd buy like a pack of chicken breasts? Yeah. It's like that, but like chicken feet raw. Just like, just normal just like 30 of them freaking shoved into this package. Oh, sorry. And I, oh. like the first time I saw it, I sent it to all of you and I was like, what the hell? No. Mm -hmm. And then I started asking people, like, in what situation would you ever buy that? Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, yeah, you fry it and it's good. And I'm like, ugh. Don't get ice cream and just suck on it. (laughs) Oh, my God. Uh, Just raw. Oh, man. Jesus. Yeah. Can we all just agree, like, chicken paws, collective, like, what the fuck from all of us? Yeah. Yeah, That's, that is weird. It's pretty nasty. I like it when they're ground up and put into McDonald's chicken nuggets, but it's about (laughs) it. I can get behind that. It's that uh, higher life form thing. (laughs) Jesus. It's the same life form. Jessica. It's like we meet some sort of extraterrestrials and Thomas's first thought is, I could eat them. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, they would still fit in, like, the animal kingdom, presumably. I mean, so do humans. Uh, we're, We're finding out so much about Thomas this week. Yes. Andrew, go ahead. What are your picky too? Jessica, please uh please re describe the adjectives that you use to describe tomato juice. I describe tomato juice, for the record, as thick and hearty and well, savory. Okay. No. I don't like where we're and going gross. here. No. No, no, no. <laughs> Yet you like the most disgusting drink possible, eggnog. Thick as shit. Disgustingly, what would it, hearty? It's not hearty. It's, it's not. It's not hearty though. But it's hard. Is it's dense. Yeah, it is dense. It's which dense. is which is hearty. It's a it's a hearty meal. It's no, see, I think it's hearty heavy. is savory. Anyway, gross. Eggnog it really is sticks to the inside of your mouth. Eggnog <laughs> is essentially feels like you're drinking a cold. It's just like, hey. That doesn't even make fucking sense. Okay, no, you, you're like. You're, <laughs> How do you drink a cold? Exactly. Andrew? If you could do it, it would be with eggnog. It's like drinking a milkshake. Would you, no. 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 You drain all your fluids, and you're all you're all runny and shitty, and you got phlegm going on in a cold. Yeah, that's like fucking drinking eggnog. It's like somebody spit all their phlegm in a cup and sold it to you in a carton at Walmart three months of the year. Fuck that, that shit. That reminds me of something I actually drink. Which is when I get, have a sunburn, I get this aloe vera drink and it has chunks of aloe oh, in it. Yeah. It's really tasty, but you just have to get past the texture and it heals my sunburn from the inside out. Oh my god. I thought of something that I cannot understand why people like. What? You Do you have more to say about bashing one of the drinks that I love during yeah. the holiday Yeah, tomato time? juice is delicious, eggnog is gross, and you're wrong. All right. Yeah. All right. Anyway, no. So this one time, I was like, "Oh, you know what? I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy one of those like healthy bottles of shit." You know, you go to the store. I did the same thing yeah. one time. Oh, I don't know if it's yeah. the same thing. It was yeah. like the kombucha. Kombucha, yes. I bought the ginger. Oh. Did you buy the ginger one? No, I just bought one that was like synergy. I was really hungover. Yeah. And I went to the health food section of our local supermarket, yeah. and I was like, "That's exactly I what need I did. something to heal me." Yep. From and I like out. tasted it. And I was like. Ugh. Yeah, no, that's exactly what I did. I think I was like either hungover. Or I just hadn't been eating well, so I was like, I, I need to get like a, a a punch of power, like some yeah. vitamins. I need to feel yes, better. Yes, yes. So I go to the health section. I pick this stuff up. It's ginger ale, and I'm like, I really love ginger. Like I love ginger ale. I love yeah. like, ginger beer. I love ginger. It's great. I put it on my sushi. It's good stuff. I drank it. It is the nasty. I literally spat it out. Like I was in the car, and I was just like, Ugh, like poison. Yes, Why? that's what I did in my car. Yes. It was, Thomas was there. I made gross. him smell it afterwards, and he was like, please don't make me smell things. It tasted yeah. like vinegar. Yeah. Like, it tasted like straight it tasted ginger like dirt, vinegar. Dirt. Like yeah, dirt in it. Okay, one more really quick before we go. Uh, before we switch topics. Um, Jessica used to work at Walmart, and there was people who would Not take- Not Walmart. Our local big box store. Whatever. <laughs> um, they would work at the local big box store, whatever the fuck that means, and they would buy the soft serve ice cream mix. Oh, God. And open it and walk around the store drinking <gasps> that shit. Be- no. Yeah. yeah. I saw kids do that. Like, granted, they were very 
large children. But they would take the soft serve, the orange little box of the vanilla soft serve you pour in to make ice cream, and they were just drinking it. And I was like, well, I can, I enjoy... I was very concerned. I didn't one... know that that's how that was made. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but no, I enjoy like one glass of eggnog a year during the holidays with some nutmeg on yeah. top. And it's pretty small. Like, we're I don't, because I know that shit's bad for you. Right um... What? So we're not talking about eggnog right now. I know, but the soft serve kid, when I saw him walking, just chugging that soft serve, like I actually felt <laughs> nauseated. I worked there one summer and he was doing it during the summer, like it was like ice cream, just chugging soft serve mix. Gross. Oh Speaking of nauseated, are you guys ready to talk about wounds? Yeah. Let's do it. No. Um, our next question comes from Butter Flamingo, which is a Ooh, great name. That is cool. Yeah. I Congratulations. Love that. And by the way, these aren't like given to us directly. I just go on Ask Reddit and I'm like, what's interesting? Yeah. Okay. How did you get that one scar? <laughs> I don't know what, like, just how'd you get a scar? Explain yeah. your scars. I got one. What, or, okay, go ahead. Okay, go so ahead. I have one around my right calf uh, yeah. um, that is just goes halfway around it, like a like half circle. Like a semicircle. Yeah, thing. semicircle yeah. Um, oh. around, like, the circumference, I guess. Um, my puppy, Bruce, when he was younger... Um, did not understand how poles or anything like that worked. So when he was on a leash, he would just get tangled around him because he's an idiot. Um, we also used to have one of the extendable leashes that had the thin yeah, cable. Yeah, yeah. Jess was walking him and he ran past me and looped around me, Ooh. around my leg and kept going. And that cable went into my leg and rubber and sliced it. it. And sliced it. That's so I have this Yum. thick band of a scar around my calf. Oh. You should just tell um, people you're like hooked by a pirate or something. I I, I want to get a black work tattoo I around actually it, but it's just expensive. I have a scar story relating somewhat to that. Really? Ooh. Yeah. Uh, I'm Does done. Does really dogs? No, but okay, to be hooked by a pirate. To dogs. Oh, to, oh, to pirate. Oh, go ahead. Yes, okay. Please do share. So I have a couple. One's pretty simple. I have like a very faint scar up here. When I was little, we had a concrete porch, mm. and I was, like, leaning against the glass door, <laughs> and I guess, like, one of my parents did not notice and just whipped it open. Just <laughs> <laughs> fucking face <laughs> Oh, my God. The concrete. Okay. Yeah. But my other one, I have a recent scar on my foot. Yeah. And it is from when Thomas and I went to get matching tattoos after we got married. Mm-hmm. Um... And I'm sitting there watching him get his tattoo, and the place that we go, they had, like, a stool where the base of the stool was an anchor, which is really cool. That's That's like a pirate pirate thing. Okay, got it. So, like, the anchor, you know, it's got the things that come up, and then on those are, like, kind of spiky things. And then a pirate came out of nowhere and stabbed her. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I just, like, shifted and, like, freaking jacked myself on one of those spiky things, and it, like, took a chunk out of my foot. So, I didn't want to say anything while he was tattooing Thomas. So I just waited. It was small tattoos. Didn't take long. So it's like five minutes goes by and I've got like blood dripping down oh. my foot. And I'm like, Ooh. when you have a minute, it's okay. And I'm not going to sue you. It's fine. I kind of jacked myself on the stool here. So <laughs> I'm going to need like a band-aid. And I don't know why he didn't have a band-aid at his shop, yeah. but I don't have yeah, band-aids what? in my house. So yeah. I can't judge. So, <laughs> so he just a tattoo parlor. Yeah. Your job is like well, stabbing he just people. took like a, he was oh, like, oh my God. Like he yeah. was freaked out. I think cause I was going to sue him or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he just yeah. folded up a paper towel and like taped it to my foot. I was like, this will do. <laughs> yeah, why not? So then I was like, I should probably go home and like clean out this. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. That I got from yeah. an anchor stool. <laughs> yeah. So those what are a my... story. That's a good one. <laughs> what a story, Mark. My story is like not really that funny. It's more sad. So when yeah. I was a kid, I was like probably three or four. I was uh, at my grandparents' house and they had a chow. And I don't like to say that like some dogs are just more aggressive than others, but like some are, you know, like yeah. I'm not one of those people who's like, oh, pit bulls should be banned, but some dogs are a little bit more aggressive. Uh, chows are one of those breeds. So they had a chow. They had two chows. Um, and what the one that was in the room with me when I was a kid was Samson. And I was in there. I think it was late at night. They put me in my grandpa's, but my grandparents' bed. And I was watching TV. And Samson was on the bed with me. And I don't know what happened. I don't know if I just reached to pet him or something. You know, I was like three or four. Uh, the dog turned on me and bit my face. Ooh. So um, my mom came in and literally remembered seeing part of my face off of it. Ooh. Like it was oh a flap. Oh my god! It was a flap. Flap so, is a great word. Yes. So I had You're to like go. like New 52 Joker. Yeah, flap. basically, yeah. For so, a while, Flaps was one of my friend's nicknames. Oh, I'll let what? you know who laughed oh, yeah, okay. okay, all right. Just because it's funny. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but 
Yeah, so I my mom came in freaking out, crying. Everybody was crying. They had to go to the ER. I had to get plastic surgery on one side of my face, like reconstructive stuff. I was basically a shepherd in the beginning of Mass Effect 2. Like, just reconstruct the whole thing, you know? <laughs> Damn it, Jessica. <laughs> Um, and so I had to do that. I had to stitch me up. When I was a kid, it was a lot bigger because obviously your face grows. I don't know. It's, it's gotten like more, more small and not noticeable. It fades in a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it was like, that was like my traumatic story. And the dog ended up having to be put down. It was kind oh. of a sad thing. Mm-hmm. But also at the same time, he ripped a child's face off. So... Yeah. You win uh, some, you lose some. Yeah. yeah. But that's that's my whole story. Like, I'm. what's funny is, like, a lot of people, when I tell them that, like, are you so scared of dogs now? Like, do you have, like, a fear of dogs? I love dogs. Like, you dogs do. are my favorite thing. And you love big, fluffy dogs. I do. Like I cats. love huge dogs. Like, you yeah. would think that I'd have a little bit of fear from that, but I love dogs. Yeah. So, even chows. Like, I don't have a fear of chows. Like, I think that, like, when I see a chow, I get a little bit more wary. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. like, a little red flag comes up because I'm just like, mm. But you're like, I'll just not act weird around it. Yeah, but yeah, yeah you just pet it and it's fine. But that's that's like my only thing. I love dogs though. So Thomas. I'm wondering if I already know Thomas's story. <laughs> I don't know, you might. So okay. You probably can't see them too well, but there's like there there there's there's about thirteen like scratches on my arm still from when I was like six, I think. And I was like riding my bike at my old house. Mm. And uh I basically Ran to the bottom of a hill on my bike uh, and right into like a thorn bush patch. Is and it my, like one of those classic things where you're going, I'm going so fast, I'm going, oh fuck, yeah, I'm going so fast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I actually yeah. was like going down the hill, then up a hill, over the road, and into this thorn bush patch. Oh god. And my bike fell on top of me. I fell on top of thorn bushes. <laughs> uh, my friend Sorry. Tony was with Way me. Way to break that fall. Yeah, he didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tony. So I'm, I'm just screaming for my dad. I'm like, dad. And, like, it takes him way too long to get to me. Like, I'm still mad about it. <laughs> like, he probably got to me, like, 20 minutes later. Jesus. Because I couldn't get up. Because, like, first of all, I'm on top of thorns. And if, like, you know, you I press down, down, yeah, yeah. I'll, they'll go inside of me more. Yeah. And mm-hmm. also, my bike was on top of me. And I was a little kid. And I was, like, weak as shit. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> like, me now, I could beat the lips. shit out of me as a kid. So <laughs> I feel like all of us could beat the shit out of kid versions. I don't know. I don't know. I could, I could take like 20 of me back then now. No, you want to hear a scar story from little me to show you how tough little me was? There was one time, also how clumsy current me and little me were. I was running as fast as I could to go hang out with my friends down the street. And there was a little bit of a curve there. So I'm like hauling ass. My mom always tells me this story because she's like, it's just the funniest thing. And I guess there's like a rock or something or some sort of dip. My mom's probably told you this story too. I fell like face first into concrete like my Ouch. knees went into it and i was like covered just like, like scratches and i had like blood on my knees and stuff like that and my mom was like oh my god and like runs to grab me she's like just because she like carries me because i'm like probably four or five she's and she's taking me home and the whole time i'm like i want to play with my friends and i'm like trying to get out and i'm just like covered in blood and my mom's like no you're not oh, playing with friends you're going home my scar story that I thought Thomas was going to stay, mm-hmm. well, his scar story, Yeah. and I don't know if you still have the scar, was when you fell down the stairs at our old apartment. Oh, yeah. I, so I'm, like, in the car, <laughs> and, like, music's playing softly, and I'm staring out my driver's window waiting for Thomas <laughs> to come down. <laughs> and, like, he gets in the car, and he's just dripping blood from his hands. Oh, my God. And I'm yeah, like, it was pretty what bad. happened? And he's like, you didn't see it? And I was like, no. And he's like, I fell all the way down the stairs. Yeah, I do have it still. Yeah. Oh, wow. He, like, our old landlords were not good about salting anything ever. Yeah, yeah. He fell from the top of the stairs to the bottom. Holy and shit. I'm mad because I missed the whole thing and I bet it was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> probably was. Like, it was probably so funny and I would have loved it. it I mean, was, I felt bad uh, for him. I was like, oh my gosh, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. But really, I was just mad that I missed it. <laughs> That's really good, but yeah. also horrible. Yeah, I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, good job. Thanks. Glad you're alive. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you're alive too. Yeah. Oh man. Um, I think that about wraps us up for this yeah. week. Yeah. So that was yeah. some fun bullshit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Yeah. Check out our website and GoFundMe.com/slash/FunSubTrendy. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Bye.